2018, the last Freakers for for April for this year. Yeah, yeah, we made it through another month. Imagine that. It's always cool. It's always great. Anyway, there's that. Uh, howdy and welcome to everybody out there that may be tuned in from all the various places you may be tuned in from, which could be actually Tune In Radio. <laughs> or if you're watching us on vonlive.tv slash Real Liberty Media. Yeah, we're there. We're also on the RealLibertyMedia.com homepage on the, well, not the homepage, but on the Freakers Ball show page on RealLibertyMedia.com. And we're on the Freakdoms Network on the audio stream over there. We're on the audio stream on InternetRadio.com. Uh, various other places that we may be. Yes, indeed. Glad to have you all here with us. You should be on the video stream. That's really the best place to be. Uh, whether it is on the RealLibertyMedia.com Freakers Ball show page or on the VonLive.tv slash RealLibertyMedia. Well, we, we, you know, they're both cool. Uh, either way, glad to have you here with us tonight on uh, the program. Not, we're not trying to program you. No, we leave that to others. They program you. We don't program you. We just give you some entertainment, and hopefully you enjoy it. And, and join in there in the chat. That's the way it goes. That's the way it works here on the Freakers Ball. That's right. Uh, Miss Booth Girl's coming along soon enough. She's getting computer headaches that she tends to get during the program. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, her computer seems to know when Freakers Ball is coming around because it always gives her a little, uh, a little punch in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's probably bad terminology. <laughs> ah, Miss Moose. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going fine. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Everything, everything yeah. working all right on your end? Not really. Oh, well, yeah, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it might be time for you to break down and buy a new machine. I think so. It's so, getting to be that time. Yeah, you know. Did, 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 I can did, tell. Did, did you take that little little slice of money Uncle Sam gave you back after you gave him a big slice of money? And, what do you mean? And did, do you still, oh, yeah, I, you, I got the return. That's so, gone. Gone. Oh, that's gone. All right. Well, oh, yeah, that's gone. So much for that. <laughs> Paid some bills, got some furniture. I see, I see. Well, you know. I had to pay, you know, 1300 to fuck it. It wasn't 1100 it was 1300 to XL Energy. Ooh. Yeah. So, yeah, the summation was not right. You should you should probably quit using that. That You should probably just pay month to month on that. What do you mean? Instead of, instead of letting it build up for several months. Oh, well, it's, you know, it's Christmas time, and it's winter, and they can't yeah, shut you yeah, off. Yeah, I know, I know. They do the same thing here in probably most places, but, you know, I, I, I would, I, 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 I don't want to have that big, ugly bill coming all at once. I know, but. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take several small ugly bills, <laughs> or, or moderate size ugly bills. Right. Usually I try to pay something, you know. Yeah, yeah. Every month, but it's, you know, if you let a couple months fly, you're like, oh, they're not going to shut me off. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. No, but I then they it. were I warning get... people, they're like, hey, the deadline's coming up. You know, they put all a thing on the news and everything. XL Energy wants to remind people that the moratorium ends April 15th. Pay you know, And a lot of people, oh, are they going to get shut off? Yeah. They, they, you know, they tell you that. And then, they, and then if they, they shut that. you off, then they really get you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When they have to do a re hookup fee or something. Yeah, all that crap. Yeah, you don't want to go there. <laughs> anyway, let's so, say hi and howdy to all the folks here in the chat room. Uh, yeah. We got the barman and the cowboy tech and myself and yourself. Yeah. Yep. We, we got Miss Kate and Miss Beth Z out there, Chalcedonian Chloe times two. 
We got Free Enslaved and Gary L. How you doing that, Gary? Good to see you on the Freakers Ball. Uh, we got Don C. and the Java Doctor and Wana Taco Meester Meister Woody Man Brow. Um, we got Mr. Asmodeus and Rain and the Flukebot. Hey, Flukebot. Uh, Rob works out there, maybe uh, firing up some bubblers. And we got uh, Rome's AKA uh, Trust No One. A couple more Woodmans down there. <laughs> Woody Man, you're like all over the place. <laughs> Mr. Ben Wall. Mr. Mr. Dakota? I'm not positive on that. We got Dakota. Yes, it's Mr. <laughs> we got Dakota. We got Dima. Echelon. Frumpy times two. We got Graham Z and Kozu and Meister. Another Meister Brow. <laughs> All right. Damn, awesome. Meister Brow. Yeah. We, we got Moe and Ninson the Blood. Pox, are you home, Pox? He's got a poxy and a poxy home. We got Pribib. Oh, Pribib, I don't know if you're tuned in or not, but uh, I saw a message earlier this morning when I woke up, but I, I didn't have a chance to answer it. Asking if I was the administrator of Real Liberty Media, I suppose you could call me that. I, I yeah, uh, you know, whatever. I'm 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 the person that keeps the website running. So yeah, all right. Who asked that? Uh, Pribib, Pribib, Prebib. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. Where? Got, what room? And, and just scroll down on the on the side there, underneath Poxified. We got Pone Sauce and Sock Puppet and oh, the, the Phantom. Yeah, well, how do you say it? Pri, pri, prib Ib or Pri Bib? Or? I have no idea. I don't know who it is. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's that would be me. I'd be the. Uh, you could call I don't me, see where they asked you that. Though. No, it was a private. Oh, okay. And saying it was in this morning before you know when I woke up this morning. Oh, okay. They they had asked around three a.m. my time, and I and I saw it this morning, but I had to. I didn't have a chance to answer, and I had to reboot and whatever, do some other stuff this morning. So, oh, okay. I don't, like I said, I don't know if he's listening in or tuned in or what, but yeah, that's me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's Rob works in the bubba. Yes, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Someone needs to do that. You know, get the party right. started. Always, always, always highly appreciated. Yeah, gotta get this party started somehow. Oh yeah, you know it's Friday night. Got to, got to have our. It is. It's gotta, Friday gotta, night. Gotta have Friday. Got to have our party stuff going. You know it. Well, yeah. So where should yeah, we nothing. start tonight? Where are you? Where? I don't know, man. Okay. Well, I'm. I okay, wanna... this is where I'm at tonight, right now. Like, okay. <laughs> the royal family in the UK, they suck. Okay. All right? They might look like they're great people. No, they don't. And all this, but they're not. <laughs> no, they they don't right? look like great people at all. You guys don't know the history of these people. Do not fall for them. Do not like let them suck you they in. They look horrible. They look like a bunch of freaking inbreds that they they're are. They're inbreds, and they're fucking... <laughs> why, so okay, why? so Prince William is saying that... Okay, this is from a, you know, a couple a year ago. Well, not a year ago. November 2nd, 2017. He's expecting a child... His third. They had it. Yep. Rapidly growing. This is what he said in November 2017. Rapidly growing human populations risk having a terrible, quote-unquote, terrible impact on the world, the Duke of Cambridge has warned. The Duke said that as a result, wildlife was being put under enormous pressure and called for the issue to be addressed with renewed, renewed vigor. His concerns echo... echo those of his grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh, who in 2011 advocated voluntary, uh, voluntary family limitation as a means of solving overpopulation, which he describes as the biggest challenge in conservation. His grandson, royal patron of the Tusk Trust, told the charities, oh, you know what, they're not going to let me read this whole fucking article. Ah, oh, what, 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 what site anyway, is, what site is what, that? What site is that? It's uh, the Telegraph. Uh, bastards. Freaking bastards. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Um, All right. <laughs> so, okay, basically, the queen rules the fucking world. All right? She's a really high up, high up there. Okay. And if you don't think that, think again. Think again. Because it's true. And she, her banker is the Rothschild. Right. 
so make the connection. It's not like out there, out in the realm of impossibility. It's freaking true. Do your research. Do your history. And learn about these freaking people. They killed Princess Diana. Yeah. All right? I mean, they killed her. They had her murdered. She didn't fit the plan. No, she didn't. She didn't go along with their fucking plan. So they had to stop that. No, Granny, it's, it's not for them to stop. It's for you you lowly commoners. Because we're, they're, they're yeah. above us. They're higher up than us. It's Louis Charles Arthur or something. Louis Arthur Charles. Or what is? I care what the name is. All the, all the people in, the, in London are like, oh, that's a French name. Louis. It's like, who gives a fuck? It should be probably short for Lucifer. Oh, probably. It probably is. Probably short for Lucifer. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying. I mean, okay. <laughs> Louis I'm just saying, people, you know, and then I saw an article, there's some brief, brief flips that said people are calling for the, the monarchy to end, which it should. They, they the don't point? do anything. She's supposed to be a figurehead. See, it doesn't end because it won't, because she is not a figurehead. She is ruling the fucking world, you yeah. know, per se, with her hand, her people. Right. The She's a higher up, okay? Yeah. You guys haven't, you don't know, you don't know the history. It's it's actually kind of fascinating. I mean, they have they they've stolen a lot from Egyptian culture and beliefs. Well, they're still the same people. Oh, okay. Well, that explains it. Yeah, the same there's the same lizards that 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 came out of Egypt after they after they landed and, and took over that that area. Right. Right. Yeah, they broke off into kind of branches or whatever. See, Marion is one of them, right? Yeah. So it's still, it, this is how long this shit's been going on, people. Since the days of the freaking pyramids. Right, and before. And before, that, and before. yeah. Right. I mean, the the, the, the history and the... the the knowledge is out there. You just have to seek it out if you want to know. If you don't, fine. It's not a big deal, right? Right. Ignorance is bliss, they say. They say. <laughs> but seriously, these are not nice people. Okay? They are not nice people. No, no, they they're, they're like not they're good. Really they're really nice out in public. They put they're, in a nice show. You are you're insects you know? to them. Yeah, you are nothing to them. You are the lower class. You are less than them. There must be a lot of blissful people, Grammy. You're right. <laughs> no, but ignorance to me isn't bliss. To me, that's an well, ugly moron. To well, me, that's a fucking is... cop out. To me, that means you're a fucking moron, and you choose to remain ignorant purposely. That well, makes you a non-smart person. Well, it, it, well, that's most people, though. I mean, you, if you if you try and enlighten your the average folk to things that are actually going on. They don't want to hear it. They they have right, no they, interest. They just don't want to believe you. They they, they, they won't because back. because you would ruin their state of bliss. If if they knew what was going on and they would have to think about it and care about it and 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 uh, then they would uh, they would that would ruin their ha right, their happy right. little They'd world. Be like no, I want to talk about football. Or all yeah, it's all they can worry about is their iPhones and their dancing with the stars and. <laughs> Stupid shit like that. Yeah, exactly, Grammy. Ignore, ant. ignore ants. Right. Yeah, LeBron, I mean, or whatever that is. Just, yeah, I mean, even with my kids, I have to like educate them. I mean, but but I, but, but, but I, but I, I have been, I have been having fun this week watching the various uh, stuff on Twitter about Kanye West. <laughs> Oh my God! That's just a distraction. That's yeah, just a well, of course. Art church. <laughs> but it's uh, people do some really funny memes on it. So it's, oh yeah! Uh, oh yeah! God. The memes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he gets it now. <laughs> I can't stand that. I, I, I just don't even pay attention to that guy at all. I, I just oh. have no desire. He's he's nothing to me. Well, I, I didn't really know anything about him other than the fact that that he he was made. They made fun of him on South Park. 
and and um, yeah. outside of that, and I still I mean I, I couldn't t- tell you any of his songs he sings right, um, because they they referenced him as a rap singer, so I assume he sings. Oh, he's ter- he cannot sing. He is not talented <laughs> in the at all. Or the rapping department. And he hockey, no yeah, hockey too. But yet he gets record deals. It's like, and then you listen to his record, or you hear like they'll joke about him on a fucking radio show in the morning. They played a little clip from his song recently. I'm just like, that is fucking horrible. It is not even fucking singing. And it's not even rapping. It's not even good. I, it's like, uh, the guy, he's nothing. He is nothing. Right. Well, like, on the, uh, on the on the South Park show where they were making fun of him, he was using, well, it wasn't him, but they were making fun of him using auto-tune. So I don't know if he, okay. if, if, if he uses that in his music or not. And, and, and I, you know, I really, I, I really, my I, distractions. Who fucking does it, Chloe? I, I a, mean, I hockey. I like hockey, sure, but I don't live and breathe it. I am interested in other things too, besides that. Yeah, the, you know, yeah, yeah bluegrass. These, these sports you know. fanatics. That's all they fucking care about. It's like, okay, there's other shit to know and other shit to fucking do. <laughs> so go do some other, other shit. Bi- big, huge piles of shit to do. Um, yes. <laughs> think about. <laughs> so you can criticize me. That's great, but whatever. Hip hop, hockey. That sounds like a fun sport. Yeah, that does sound like a fun sport. Oh. <laughs> We're all fucking judgmental, you know, and that fucking shit needs to go out the fucking window. When I when oh, someone God. fucking directly attacks me, calls me a fucking dumbass, I'm gonna fucking fire back because I am not a fucking dumbass. All right. That's just an example. I'm not saying Chloe called me a dumbass because she didn't. But some other fucking motherfucker in there did. And you know what? Fuck, Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, well, I You think, don't know uh, better than me. You don't know more than me. You're not smarter than me. So I'll fuck off. I'm pretty sure, Benoit, that hip-hop does infer weed. Uh, I, I think it's an integral much. part of hip-hop. And I, I don't yeah, know if, 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 if weed. I don't know if it's so much about hockey. If hockey has weed in it, but hip hop. Oh yeah, I lots of players, sure. lots of pro sports players smoke fucking weed. Well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just saying they that. They all, every sport, they smoke fucking weed. Not I, all. I mean, of them, but it's not but like you know, of, like hacky sack or. <laughs> it's like hip hop. <laughs> Fris- frisbee like, golf. Like those are said, definitely weed sports. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, they fucking... Don't fool yourself that them pro sports players don't smoke fucking weed. No, no, of course they, they do. Of course they, oh, they do. do. Wait, I saw something um, that Ricky Williams guy, is, he's, he's starting some... He's own, got his own his, brand. Own his own pot shop or some... We talked own, about that. His own yep. strain or something. <laughs> yeah, he, he made his own strain of weed. Well, he came out a long time ago and oh. said, yeah, I... Yeah, and they when kicked him. Playing and they, football. Yeah, and they kicked that. him out. They kicked him out. Right, but which is bullshit. Yeah. Because all the, there's I, like it's so funny because we'll be watching a baseball game or something, a baseball game, especially baseball because they 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 don't have those helmets on, right? Even you know what I mean, so you can really see their face, you can see their hairstyle, and everything. Right. Uh, some guy will come up to bat and be like, "Oh, he's a stoner." Of course. Because they got long hair it doesn't mean they're a stoner. I'm like bullshit. <laughs> Well, no, it, it doesn't, it doesn't like mean stoner, that. He probably is a stoner. What? It doesn't mean that. No, not necessarily, but trust me, I can tell the guys. It's, I can tell. I mean, look I at, look at, look at. Pretty much right on, I'm sure. Look at Ted Nugent. You know, he, he's, a, he's a long-haired guy, crazy wild dude, but he swears up and down he never smoked weed in his life. Okay, but he's not a pro sports player either. No, no, no. I, I understand, but you know, he said long hair <laughs> means they smoke weed, and no, that's a stereotype. I know. There's plenty <laughs> of short haired people that smoke weed. Well, plenty of short, plenty of bald headed people. <laughs> There's plenty of people <laughs> everywhere, all shapes, sizes, and forms, uh, and um, they don't. Everybody doesn't have to look like Jerry Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. All right, let's play some music, speaking of stoners. Yeah, let's do that. Reading. We need music. It's Friday night, people. Such let's other... let's chill out. Come on. Yeah, man, let's. Where's Burn one if you got it. Let's smoke it down. Come on. I'm right here. This is uh, some guy by the name of Papa Chevy. <laughs> Yeah. 
is before dead. Oh, yeah. Great spot of there. And the Nocturnals, along with Bob Weir, doing the Grateful Dead song, Friend of the Devil. Uh, Moose Girl request there, by, by, by the way. Before that, a Cowboy Tech request with Santana and no one to depend on. And I kicked it off there with Papa Chubby, one leg at a time, live at Donald Dell's Legends. Uh, such great music. You know? Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, man, I tell ya. Wow. Good, good, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... There's progress and then there's setbacks. And then there's progress and there's setbacks. It's like they don't... Everything's so slow. Like Grammy was talking about earlier on her show, and she's been doing a really good job talking about natural things to do. Sure. To help yourself and heal yourself. She's she's very good. And at that. you have to do these things, otherwise you will. When you get older, you don't want to be in pain. Like when you get older, you know what I mean. You don't want to be. No, you don't. No, really, and. I am going to start taking biotin. I've decided. I've been thinking about it for a little bit here. And every time I go to Walmart and I look at what they have this for sale at the Walmart, I call it the Walmart. No, I, no, I don't always say the Walmart. Um, <laughs> there, I don't trust their brand. As far as this vitamins and shit go, I want to, you know, I'm going to buy them online, like, through iHerb or whatever. Yeah. Because for one thing, they're cheaper on iHerb. Hey, you know, Swanson's is really quantity. good for vitamins. I'm sorry, what? I said Swanson's is really good for vitamins. Oh, Swanson's? Yeah, Swanson's vitamins. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll try them too. I'll check their prices. Um, But the brand names that you can get at Walmart aren't as good as what you can get online. Well, Just as, saying. As far as prices go, you may be able to get the same products that you could get at either iHerb and or Swanson's, except for Swanson's actual only brand, um, at, on Amazon um, for a better oh, price. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right. For, for a better price. This, yeah. uh, but if you want to support, you know, the smaller guys, then, then certainly, um, you know, iHerb right. and, and Swanson's, that's, that's a good, great way to no, go. Oh, I should tell you, too, I should yeah. tell you, too, my, my little story about Amazon. <laughs> oh, yeah. You said something about this. Did I? Did I mention this? I think so. Last week. Okay, well, Maybe not. I, last week I may not have mentioned, or I, I may have... No, I don't you think You did. So. I think you mentioned it. Okay. Anyway, so last week... Or maybe we were just talking about it. Yeah, it's happened. possible. I, I don't know, because I don't even recall when I made the order. Um, So last week, uh, I ordered four little items from Amazon. Yeah. Four little items that... I thought would all come in one nice little box and come to my house. Right. Unfortunately, they were all shipped separately. <laughs> oh God! Some and some came the to my house. And, and some came to my house and some went to wound up at the PO box. Oh, which, geez. whatever, that's fine. I, I, you know, it's kind of annoying when they do that, but that that's, well, that's all right. I, I understand they have a yeah. bunch of distribution centers and. And so, blah, blah, blah. Well, they blah. come from different places. like the, And then, plus, right. some items can be mailed, and some items have to be shipped. You know what I mean? Well, the, you know, and they don't, but they don't let you pick. That, that's that's the one, one thing. No, they don't. They don't let they you don't. pick a right. shipping method or tell you where you want it to go. And, and right. I, you know, most, I understand, 99.9% .9 of the people out there probably have a mailbox at their house. <laughs> but, Grim, you, no, they do have an option. I recently purchased, and I, I have a story, too, about this, but... I recently purchased items from Amazon, and I got them in separate packages. The one, two items came in the one package, and then I got two other separate packages with the other items. Because for one thing, they're coming from different locations, different warehouses. Right. And some of the, the one thing was so small that they, they put it in a padded envelope to mail it, right? It didn't have to be shipped in a box. Yeah. You know, so they're... But they do give you an option of where you want it to go when you're filling out your order. Well, they you do. Can they, put they, the shipping location there. No, you can put your mailing address. Yeah, yeah, I do put, put my mailing address. address. Uh, but that's why on my home address, 
I always include the PO box as part of the zip code, be, right? Be, because it, oftentimes they they will say that that's where it'll wind up is the PO box, and and the post office will only accept it at the PO box if the someone's uh, there to PO, sign for PO it. box is part of the zip code. No, not we don't. Oh, have, right, right, okay. Nobody has to be there. They just have to know what box it goes to. Anyway, that's not the Amazon story I want to tell you about. That was okay. just another earlier this week one. The <laughs> other one was, okay, last uh, Sunday, I guess it was, I don't know, whatever. I was cutting a roast, uh, uh, you know, just a pot roast that right. I had cooked. And I and I have these, you know, basic cooking knives, whatever, cheapo knives yeah. <laughs> that I got um, several years ago um, that... They, they were from a company, a wholesaler called B&F Goods, B&F Warehouse, whatever, that me and a buddy of mine, we used to uh, use them as a drop shipper um, for, for certain things when I used to run a website uh, that you could buy all, the, all that kind of crap on. Okay? So anyway, uh, th this one, I, I don't know how I wound up with some of the products from there, but I did. And one of them was these, this set of kitchen knives. And they were really, really cheapos. And so anyway, I'm cutting through the roast, and then suddenly the, the, the knife blade just kind of pivots away from the handle. <laughs> oh, great. And, and this, oh, this, that's wonderful. This, this was the second knife in, in this set that had done that. Oh, Which, no, no big deal. Like I said, they were just cheapo little piece of crap knives. Right, right. Okay, so I went on Amazon because I, I need a carving knife, and I can't. Right. Of course, anyway. you need a better, a good one. No, I didn't, need a, good, I didn't need a good one. I don't need a good one. I, I need, oh, really? I need another cheapo one like the set that I had. See, that, see that's only, the Only a set that's going to work. You're going to have to replace it sooner. No, I, I understand, it I understand that. I understand that. That's, <laughs> it's not the point of the story. Okay. Anyway, so I go, <laughs> I go on to Amazon, and I find the the set. Actually, I, had, I went somewhere else. To, oh, I went to Walmart.com, found the set that I wanted, and then found okay. it on it, then found it on Amazon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for for a few dollars cheaper, actually. Um, right. Okay. It's that. And, and without without any kind of shipping price or anything like that. So um, so I order them, and it's you know the Prime, so I get two day free shipping. Da da da. Great. And I was. Tuesday or Wednesday I order them. I think it might have been Wednesday. Anyway, so um, they they sent me the tracking info in my email, right? And and right. and the first day, okay, you got a package coming tomorrow from from yesterday, and it's then the ship, uh, yeah. and then, then today I get a notice, okay, your package has been delivered. <laughs> so I go out to my porch and there's no package there. Right, right. And then I come back here and I check the tracking info and it says delivered to rear door. Okay, well, it's not there, buddy. And I, and I'm well, rear door. Nobody, you never, you always deliver to my porch, and there's no possible way <laughs> you could really get to my rear door. Oh, uh, really? In my house, and, well, I got a lock gate there, and and, and they, they they really can't get in there. Uh, right. So anyway, I walked around because there's like three different doors that could be considered a rear right, door. Yeah. And yeah. I, nope, 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 nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. So I come back here and I, and I look at the thing and I look at Amazon. It says delivered. <laughs> like at UPS, it says delivered. <laughs> anyway, there's a way to track to just go there and say, hey, I didn't get my package. It must be a common right, thing. Right, right, right. And so uh, and there's I have a, like a little chat on there. And right, go, a I, chat thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I go into the chat thing and I start talking to the guy. I guess it was a guy. It was some kind of Indian name. Um, <laughs> Great. <laughs> anyway, so I told him what's going on, and he said, "Okay, let me check with the with the carrier and, and see what happened." And he yeah. goes away for a couple minutes. And he comes back and he says, "Okay, the carrier says the package wasn't delivered today. They they scanned it by accident. There was a uh, transportation <laughs> problem, and and it'll be delivered tomorrow." Oh my God! Okay. okay. So oh, whatever, that's fine. That was just before Grammy show. Then after Grammy okay. show, I. I walk out of here to go start making my dinner, and, uh, yeah. the, door, and the doorbell <laughs> the, the doorbell rings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I go ahead to the door, and there's this guy standing there with my package. And he says, oh hey, hey, you live at, at this address north. I live at the same address south, and they dropped oh this gosh. at my house. And I'm like, oh, wow. well, that's terrific. Great. Thank you very much for bringing it here to me. But the thing is, Amazon... Or UPS, one of the two lied. I don't know which yes. one. Whether 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 UPS lied to Amazon, or or Amazon right, just lied right. to me. One of the two happened. Now here's what I'm hoping is going to happen. 
Amazon realizes, okay, well, this was delivered to the wrong place. It was only a, a you know a less than a twenty five dollar item. Right, right. And they, they don't send, care. And they send another one. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm hoping I get another package. <laughs> I hope I get a second set of you're knives. You're going to. You know you're going to. For free. Because it's right. Because they right. lied to me. They lied exactly. to me, and they deserve to pay for that second set of knives. <laughs> oh, my God. That's awesome. <laughs> so, oh, my God. And, funny. you know, I, I, I love Amazon. I, I know there's all kinds of terrible horror right. stories about Amazon destroying businesses right. and all that, and what a huge conglomerate, and what an asshole Jeff Bezos is. Uh, right, you know, he is. Yeah, like, um, I even told Zach that I'm like, even the fucking guy that runs Amazon's a fucking dick. Yeah, <laughs> but know? he's a dick. Beyond Amazon's all that, I, I don't. I, I love their services. I love the movies. Right. I love right. The, the free shipping. Well, it's not free. No. You, you got to pay the annual Prime fee, but with yeah. the, you get all kinds of stuff with that Prime fee if you pay it. Oh well, yeah, you do. Yep. And, and, and it's how they get you, Grim. That's how they got us. Okay, fine. It's, it's still a good deal. <laughs> it's still like that, us, though. It's still a good the, the, the price of Amazon Prime per year is less than Netflix is per year. So, just right. you, and I and I get as many great movies on Amazon as I oh, would yeah, on Oh, yeah, I do. I, I do watch Netflix. Westworld. I get, I get HBO through Amazon, not Hulu, because Amazon HBO is way cheaper than Hulu HBO, I mean, right. like, it's a no-brainer, it's like, hello, yeah. no, I love my, yep, I love it, I do love it, I so, have to So, it. Uh, you know, uh, and, and the, as, I don't really recall them ever screwing up with packages before. Right. But they Which did it this happens, time. Though. It happens. But apparently it does no. happen a lot, by the it's way they like got... the UPS dude, or, or the Amazon people, didn't say, didn't specify north or south. Well, like no, it says north, right time, at my so address. They they bring stuff to me all the time. Right, but in this one case, they didn't specify. No, it said, I looked at the box. I looked at the box after after I got it. It, it had my proper address as north. And the guy well, that... they didn't communicate it properly to UPS. And they, well, and the guy they dropped it off to, um, this, he lives, you know, I don't know, what, a half a mile from me? On the, on the other side of right. Route 66? And, um... <laughs> he just drove over here and handed it to me. It was nice so, of him to do that. Yeah, that was great. Because he could have wound up with a free set of knives there himself. <laughs> right, yeah. He could have been like, oh, well, not my problem. Yeah, what do I care? Keep them, you know. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, I mean, but I have an Amazon story. Okay. Which I think, I mean, I know that this is buyer beware type stuff. But, like, okay, Zach's going to prom next Saturday, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to save money. You know, so I think, okay, well, I'll, I'll order a suit off Amazon for him, right? All right. So we find a suit. We know his size. We order the size that they specify, which I should have known better in this case because they didn't have actual sizes. They had small, medium, large, extra large, right? They, they don't have, like, certain weight, 32, 34, whatever. Right. This For this suit, lots of the other suits did have those sizes. All right. You know, I'm. I don't know. You know, I'm just like dumb. You know, I'm not dumb. But I'm not dumb. I, I know they, what it's did, like. Did they have a chart showing you what small, yeah, medium, large? Yeah, they did. They had a chart. Like they said, okay, the extra large is for this size of suit, right? All right. So we purchased that one. It gets to the house. Yeah. No, it does not fit. <laughs> and I look at the tag and it says extra large. I'm like, well, that's our first mistake. Even though the size chart said extra large in their style, their their brand would fit a regular, just regular. No, that's not going to work, dude. You know, and I could tell. I get home and he he went out to his girlfriend's soccer game. And I I come home. I look at the pants. I pick them up. I'm like, these are way too fucking small. Like these will never work. So I text Zach. I'm like. <laughs> Did you try the pants on? He's see, like, no. See, wait, like, wait, a second, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ben Wah says he wears an extra large and he's little. See, what you got to understand now right. is all of our clothes are made in China. So extra or large to them is not very big. Right. And so I said to Zach, I go, when he after he gets home to the soccer game, I'm like, Zach. So he actually did try to try the pants on? No. He couldn't even get them up past his fucking eight, his knees. <laughs> I'm like, dude. I knew right we're looking at him. I, and then plus then then he you know, I said whatever, they don't fit, whatever. And yeah. then I, I wa 
talk to the living room a little while later. I'm like, you know why it doesn't fit you? He's like, why? I'm like, because we, we picked out the right side. He's like, yeah. I'm like, because those sizes are for Asian people. <laughs> right. Because those they're, they're made in Asia. For little Chinese those guys. Those people aren't as big as you, dude. They're just, even the, their biggest dude isn't as big as you. I mean, the biggest <laughs> guy in Asia is not as big as my Zachary. Well, you know I, don't, I, mean? I don't know. Where 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 did Yao Ming come from? Uh, well, yeah, he's like a fucking... He's giant. A he's a giant. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's a mutant. He's, I swear to God. <laughs> So, yeah, buyer beware. Yes, that's what I thought, too, Graham. But I looked, and it wasn't it didn't say you. Like, there were ones on there that said you. You made sure we were buying Well, no, yeah, and if they had the know? chart there, they had the chart. I went by the chart. Right. You know, I'm like, that's what I get for going by the fucking chart, you know? It's like, ugh. So now I have to go to an actual store. For me, you have to go to a store for clothes because you have to try them on. But now Prime came out with this new thing, try before you buy. How? And I'm like, really? Wow, that's pretty cool. They send it to you, you try it on? If it don't work out, you send it back to them. As long as they're paying shipping, you know. Right, exactly. I mean, I think that's pretty cool because that's my drawback with buying clothing online is I can't try it on first. I can't. Yeah, I wouldn't, it. you know, I like I shoes. I, I could not buy no. shoes. Yeah, how would you buy shoes online? You got to right. walk around yeah. in them. Unless you know exactly the kind you want, because you've already tried them on at a store. You know what I mean? Then you're gonna come home and buy them online. Yeah, you're you still gotta you still gotta walk around in the pair exactly. that you're gonna. Exactly, because all shoes it could be made differently. Yeah. Because you, you know. So, I, I right. don't know. There's yeah. Some things that you cannot buy online. Right. No, I'm out. This it was eighty dollars. You know, because you go to the store, they're a hundred. So I I tried to save twenty dollars. <laughs> I, I know, but you just send it back, right? Well, yeah, but it's a hassle. I mean, there will be a return policy or whatever. I'll just send it back. No, I think it's, it's pretty easy. I, I, I think the returns are really easy. Oh, okay. You just tell them, I ordered this size, it's not the right size, and and right. send, send it back. I, I think yeah. it's their mistake. Well, not really. Well, it is and it's not. I mean, you were promised that it would work, and it didn't. Right. Exactly. I mean, it didn't fit. I'm mean, yeah. be like, no, this is not work. You know. Well, I'm um, pretty sure they'll. they'll... So I'm not really worried about the return part of it. I'm just like saying, like, some things for online are great, but some things are not. Like, someone suggested me buying furniture online. It's like, hell no, I would never do that unless I knew exactly what I wanted. It would be exactly. Yeah, same I mean, thing. like for you, got to go sit on the couch or the chair. Or right, the... you have to. You have to sit on the couch before you buy it. If you get a couch. And you, it gets into your house, and you hate it. See, a couch is a huge item. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, if you know exactly what you want, you can buy clothing and shoes and stuff and, like and may, that. And maybe for, like, you know, dress shoes or something, that would work. But I only wear tennis shoes. And, and right. They, and they, they don't – they have to they have to be perfect. Right. But I have actually <laughs> ordered online shoes for Zach. Which we knew exactly what we wanted. They're Nikes, you know. Yeah. I mean, so we know what you want, but this suit thing, I was like, Wait. I should have known better. I nah. should have known not to order clothes off of Amazon. Yeah. See, I, I could order plates off of, uh, off of line. I mean, there's right. no big deal right. there to me. Plates. I, see, I, don't... I can't even <laughs> order cookware off Amazon unless I know exactly what I want because I have to actually touch it. Oh, I have no. to feel how heavy duty it is. I have to feel, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't just buy it sight unseen, you know? No, I could buy that. I could buy those online. Really? Yeah. You could buy cookware online? Yeah, sure. I couldn't. I'd have to know exactly what I want. Like, I go to the store trying to pick up cookware, and I pick up the things. I'll see how heavy it is <laughs> or whatever, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, you can't feel that online before you buy it. No. You yeah. know, for me, like, you know what I found, though? And this is a true story. Okay. Now, remember how Teflon so bad for you? Like, Teflon, this is like periodic. Yeah, sure. Now, right. But Teflon pots and pans are not good for you. Either are aluminum coated. You know, cause, well, cause the Teflon, aluminum are not coated. The aluminum are aluminum. Uh, no, there's a thing. I've been looking at cooker lately, Graham, and they say aluminum and uh, I don't know. Anodized? Okay. They say anodized on some of them, yeah. 
Uh, maybe they do. They're doing got another process going on. But most most of your frying pans are going to be aluminum unless you get cast iron and stainless steel. Right. See, my my go to has always been stainless steel. You know, I I know that people like that nonstick shit because it's easy to clean. Yeah. But when I that Teflon crap, once it gets scratched, it's junk. Well, I told you I got those ceramic pans, right? And even cooking with it, if you use too high of a heat, mm -hmm. that Teflon's going to leach into your food. Oh sure. I told, you, I told you I got that. Stainless those. steel will not do that. Stainless I, I, steel, I, that's my standby. They, it will not do that. I told you I got the ceramic pans, right? Yeah, see, now I was... Now those, are those are awesome. Those are beautiful. Is ceramic good? Is it good for you, though? Yeah, it's ceramic. I mean, most of your dishes you know, and cups and stuff like that are made it, out of it. What's the pan underneath? What is it? What's it's the aluminum. Material? They're aluminum. Okay, see? So you're using aluminum pans with a ceramic coating. Right, but you're cooking on the ceramic. You're only getting the, the effect right. of the ceramic. Um, right. And they're awesome. These are awesome pans, let me tell you. You see, I've been, I've been, I've, I haven't bought any because I, I don't know what I want yet. I don't know, do I want the ceramic coated? Do I want the stainless steel? You know but, I mean? And again, you don't want to cook it at a really high temperature, though. Right, and see, that's my son's problem. When he, I had a bitch in a one time. I'm like, seriously, dude, he was cooking eggs, and the whole house started getting smoky. I go in there, he's got it, like, on the highest setting. I'm like, you can't look at that hot. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, did you take culinary? He, he did. He took, seriously, four years of culinary in high school. You yeah. know what I mean? That was you, just to meet girls. That. That, that was just to meet girls. He didn't care. Right. No, probably. And to eat food. No, he had two Okay, in that. <laughs> yeah, two motives. He's like, I get to take culinary and eat what we cook? Oh, yeah. Sign me up, buddy. He could yeah. pull it for four years. God. <laughs> That's funny. His teacher loved him. It was the same teacher all four years. Oh, she great. loved him. Yeah, well. She did. He was like the teacher's pet. Cool. Yeah, but anyway. So now I've been wondering, what's the best cookware? You try to look it up, and there's so many articles, you can't even go by that. All right, well... Here, here's you the know. things you're going to hear about ceramic pans. Okay. Is that they chip. Or Which they, I've had an enamel pan. Well, I, I, they, mine, I, I mean, I use them every single day. Right, right. No, I, I mean, I, I don't know. It's only been five months, I guess. But stainless steel pans can get dented or whatever. It's, yeah. it's only been five months, but no, no, there's no chipping. You, you wash them with a sponge and you rinse them right. out. And and no, they're, they're they're perfect. They they, you know, you, you you when you first get them, as long as long as you uh, you season them with, with the oil. Yep. yep. Yeah, they're, they're they're great. And um, okay, I'll so, probably get the ceramic. Then. I'm gonna try it. Just, just because, you know, just pick up one pan and, and and try it. Right. No, I've 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 checked them all out at every fucking store. I've checked out cookware sets at every fucking store. I, they have has cookware sets. Yeah. So I know what's out there. I know and it's like I don't know ceramic or stainless steel. That's my that's my my tipping point right now. Right. And, and I I still yep. use I still use my my stainless steel and my cast iron as well. But um th those are you and, know, yep. like you know if you're going to cook a cook a steak right. on the stove and you use or a hamburger you See, use the kind that I want cast iron. The, the real good stuff is like $500. It's like I am not spending 500 fucking dollars on cookware. It's like because I found, like, okay, the one big frying pan, that, the one set that I have that I got, like, I'm all... We're not there yet, Ben. 15 years ago, was way better. Like, products used to be made better. Now, if you want to get really good stuff, you have to pay for it big time. Like, you know, there's an in-between, there's, there's a low end, there's a middle, <laughs> there's a high end. You know what I mean? With pricing. But the high end stuff is definitely the best fucking stuff. It's fucking Calcelon. Stainless steel, tri ply, like heavy duty shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Not the normal stainless steel in the mid range. This is heavy duty with copper bottom and everything. You know what I mean? Right. That's exp that's just like seven hundred dollars. Yeah. For a set of it. Yeah, you could but, yeah, you could oh, definitely sorry, get so. you could definitely get some very expensive cookware if you really want to. Right, but the route I think I'm going to actually take him. Is I'm gonna buy them individually because I don't need every piece that's in the set. You know, what I mean, right. I have right. awesome okay. boxes. Okay, in the right in now. the set I that I, in the set that I got, there's yep. there's there's one frying pan in there. 
that is four inches across. That's now, fine. what are you going to use that for? I cooked an egg in it once just to check, check it out. Right, right. Just, <laughs> right. It, yeah. Because it kind of comes out nice for, I guess, if you want to cook one egg for a sandwich. Right, that's way too small. <laughs> I have no, like me, I personally would have no use for that five it, uh, it seemed, it seemed kind of ridiculous, and that's the only time I've used that one little pan, right. but it was like, oh, all right, <laughs> I'll try it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to buy individually so I can get exactly the pieces I need and not get a bunch of pieces that I don't really need. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't look at the thrift stores, but you can't find a good Dutch yeah, oven. I guess you I'm going to go it. for a Dutch oven. Oh, sorry. I, I guess you could use that thing for like a single hamburger patty. Right or something. Could, but yeah. It would be too. It would be so hard. You have to buy this tiny spatula. Well, yeah, it's it's, oh. it's tough. It's tough to flip it out. <laughs> right. And it's like what the fuck. It did work you good know? for the egg, though. It worked good for saying for saying. Okay. Egg. All right. But, well, for uh, a single man. person, I. Think. For yeah, well, you just you know, if you're gonna make an egg sandwich or something, I don't know, whatever. So what I think I'm gonna do though for my Dutch oven, which is what I need to put spaghetti noodles in. I don't yeah. like tall stock pots. I like the. The flatter, the shorter ones. Yeah. I'm gonna get a, a. They're really expensive. They're a ceramic. They're they're. The Cruset or whatever makes them. It's one brand. Okay. And the Lodge Lodge brand makes them. All right. But they're enamel coated. And they're heavy duty, dude. Enamel or ceramic. They're pottery with the coated oh, enamel. Oh, okay. They're fire. They're fi- made in a kiln. Nice, nice. They're heavy duty. Like, I have one that I got from my grandma that was made in, in the UK. Yeah. That thing is so heavy duty. That thing's been dropped on the floor. It don't break. That thing, I mean, that's the way to go, though. You want to get good stuff that's going to last. Like, with you with your freaking knives, you're better off buying a really good set that's going to last. <laughs> yeah, but what know? if I get Instead a... Like, but, this but, cheap but, ass shit, but what if I get another set free? <laughs> What if I get another set free? You're keeping Walmart alive, dude, and Amazon. <laughs> People like you. Uh, you know. Uh, cheap shit, and they have to keep buying it. They, they work good. At least, well, I, I'm hoping they work good. The, other, the previous set worked good until <laughs> so, it broke. No, from what you told me, if you bought the same kind of knives... They're not they're the same shit. kind of knives. Yeah, they're, they're, I should not do that. They're, well, country. no, but but see, the other thing, the thing is, and I made sure that these ones were what, what is called full tang. Which which means that the, I don't know what the that means that means the 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 metal of the blade goes all the way back to the end of the oh okay the handle yep that's good and this no, other like one the they they were not right. they were not um, oh okay so like well, you did get better ones then so well, I feel better I, now we'll see we'll see we'll see that's like I said if, if I have to replace <laughs> it in four or five years who cares it's twenty bucks you know <laughs> right. but you know what. Why not have good stuff that you know is going to fucking last? You know. Well, look, these these are these are nice. Uh, you know, they they came with the the stuff that I wanted, the right knives, bread right, knife right. And, a, and a and a and a carving knife and a uh, paring knife, and then I there didn't I didn't need more steak knives. I've got a million of them already, but it comes with them. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, stay chop, stay Julian, they fricassee. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they do whatever they need to do. <laughs> let's play some music. Oh my God, let's do this. Uh, it's a weird one tonight, people. It's not. It's uh, random. Oh, I tell you, man. Freaking ball, freaking ball stuff. All right, this is JJ Appleton and Jason Ricci. Get up to dance on this one. Oh, yeah, R.L. Burnside there, let my baby ride. Yes, indeed. Before that, we had House on Cliff. Wait, The House on Cliff, doing The House of the Rising Sun. Excellent cover of that particular tune. Kicked it off there with J.J. Appleton and Jason Ricci doing Shake Your Hips. About a week ago, uh, Terra Blues in New York City. Uh huh. Good, good old rock and roll bluesy music going on right there. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, some good stuff. All right. 
I like that. I love that music. That's that, that's just me. That's just great music. Um, yeah, whatever. I, 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 I didn't see a whole lot of agreeing or disagreeing there, so I'm going to have to go with, yeah, it was great music. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it was great. It was like, that's a speechless. That's how great it was. <laughs> yeah. Dang, dang mute button. Yeah, no, it was good. That R.L. Burnside man, he's fucking awesome. Yeah, he was. He, he was. This, he, he just, he, he's got this. It's the sound that he makes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is okay. like unlike any other. Like he's got a unique sound. He can play that guitar like some way that no other person can play in the world. I mean, that's how most guitarists are. But you know. You know a true artist when they have their own song, like when, when that when his if he were to play his first note, I would know it was him. Oh sure, yeah, he's, he's a super. Notes, you know he, what I mean? And then the, like, oh, this is RL. The super fuzz. You know? Right. I down, mean, yeah. it's just yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh oh, Vinny's gonna get lucky this weekend. All right. Well, he's gonna. Good for you, man. I'm glad someone's getting some action. He's he's gonna be doing doing some ass grabbing while he's sure, dancing. Buddy. Don't be saying no purdy. Don't be calling her purdy. Yep, he's got a purdy mouth, pretty honey. Or beautiful. <laughs> say beautiful. Do not say purdy. Don't even try to say pretty. Yeah. Don't come out purdy. <laughs> I'm gonna. You don't want to tell girl she's purdy. I'm gonna sex you up, no, baby. You don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't even have to kiss on the first date, but don't tell her she's purdy. I'm gonna say sex she's you up. Or gorgeous. Or stunning. But don't say purdy. Don't please don't. You're the, you're the prettiest. <laughs> I'm giving you shit, but I'm really I'm kind of not. I'm giving you shit, but I'm kind of giving you advice at the same time. You know. Yeah, he's he's yeah he's, he's got to be doing don't the old Arkansas. He's got to be doing that Arkansas thing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You got a pretty yeah, mouth, honey. I don't know girls like that, <laughs> but you know what? Depending on where she's from. Don't say Purdy. Well, I mean, he, he, even if she's from a place that says Purdy, he, he's in be Texas. Different. He's, he can differ it; it'll blow her mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you some advice from the women's perspective, Vinny. You got hot tamale, honey. Okay. I mean, I'm happy for you that you have a possibility of getting lucky this weekend. That's awesome. At least someone is. Like I said, you know. I mean, I'm kind of jealous. A little bit jealous. You know, <laughs> not because I'm that you're getting no, no, not that. I'm just, you know, you're getting it on, maybe. Oh know? wait, wait, wait! I think I think I'm I think I'm, I, I think, I, I think I'm getting here that maybe Moose Moosey might might want to hook up with Vinny. No, 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 no. no. Is that, is, I think <laughs> no. I think that's what I'm picking up from this here. Yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> no. no, I'm happy for him. I mean, I'm just trying to give him advice so it happens. You know, oh God! You know, I mean, I'm happy for. It. Well, I'm it's not only in Texas, but in other places, apparently. Arkansas. You know, people, some people try to say pretty, it comes out purdy. Purdy. You know, up here. Yeehaw! Ride 'em, cowgirl. I'm trying to say purdy, and you don't want that to happen. <laughs> you do not want to say purdy to some girl if you want to try to get laid. No, that's not, a, no, a, no. Unless, unless you're talking about a buck. Right. You, a, just, you a, got a freaking... A, tur a tur you know, turdy pot book. But I would do... If I was Vinny. I would, like, throw that southern charm. You know, like the yes ma'am. And you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, Vinny. Don't tell me that you don't know what I'm talking about. He knows. He's he's a southern gentleman. He's a, he, he knows all about it. Be a gentleman. That's, that's, you know, charming. You know, engaging. <laughs> You know what I, you know the drill. You know the drill. I'm sure you'll be fine, Winnie. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm just like trying to like do a freaking ball here. I'm just like, you know, you're, you're like the conversation <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh God! All right, here's a story for you. I'm gonna uh, okay. hit you with a story. Give you the headline, and you just give me give me what you give me your response to this headline. Oh God. McDonald's <laughs> rolls out burgers with fresh beef. See, I saw this a couple of weeks.
weeks ago, and I'm like, really? Okay. They're actually in bidding now. Well, well, now here's the That's thing here. Here's the thing. Here, here's the thing here. Let, let me give you a little bit of the article, and then I'll, and I'll go where I'm going to go with it. McDonald says that starting Wednesday, and this would have been last Wednesday, uh, it was. It will be selling f fresh beef quarter pound burgers at hundreds of restaurants in the New York City region. It had previ previously been using frozen meat for all of its burgers. So let me tell you what this says. It says it's going to be fresh rather than <laughs> frozen. It doesn't say that they're changing anything at all about the quality or of the hamburger. It's going to be the same shitty hamburger. It's just not been frozen before. Well, it doesn't even say it's not frozen before. It just says it's not frozen now. <laughs> but the thing is, the problem is not that they were freezing their meat. The problem is they use shitty meat. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's frozen fresh, it's still shit. It says, the fresh beef offerings at 570 tri-state restaurants, that's a lot of restaurants mm -hmm. for, for one area, no. will include the quarter pounder, quarter pounder with cheese, double quarter pounder, and signature crafted recipe burgers. The chain's other burgers, like Big Mac, will continue to use frozen beef. The the move. Okay. No wait wait okay. wait. wait, 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 wait Let me finish here. The move is the biggest change for McDonald's operation since the launch of all day breakfast, which means something they always did in 2015. Uh, so they, they, something they always did was serve breakfast, but instead of just doing it before certain hours, they did it all day. So that's a big change for them somehow. I, I don't get that. Anyway, McDonald's expects a complete rollout of fresh beef quarter pounder burgers to participating restaurants by early May. McDonald's continues to change its operations as consumer tests and expectations change. The world's largest restaurant chain, which I thought that was Subway, but whatever. The world's no, not anymore. The world's largest restaurant chain says it plans to change to using cage-free eggs by 2025. <laughs> oh, wonderful! <laughs> and, 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 and I heard the, that story. I'm like, really? 2025? And, and, and in the and, and, it's and, a irrelevant story. It's a irrelevant story. And, it's a irrelevant story. In the U.S. and serving chicken not treated with antibiotics important to human medicine. They don't say they're not going to use antibiotic chickens that were not treated with antibiotics, just not with antibiotics that are important to human medicine. <laughs> and, and why is it going to... It's a gonna, story. Why it's is it going to... It's a stupid bogus fucking story to make the town seem like they're good. Why is it going to take... The evil. Why, why, why will it take them seven years to right, change exactly. the eggs to cage-free... Why, why are we telling the story in 2018... <laughs> Well, they, they roll it out here like it's a big thing, like they're doing something right. great that's and wonderful. Like, they, they ain't doing deal. shit. No, just <laughs> what I'm saying. It's a stupid they're ass. Not, they're, not changing, they're not changing the meat. The the breakfast right. thing, so what? They already served breakfast. They just didn't oh do it all day. God. Big deal. And and, 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 and the eggs are not going to change for another seven years. And these chickens, they're still going to be serving you antibiotic pumped up chickens. Or, or treated chickens, just not antibiotics that are important to human medicine. <laughs> just like everything in this article, just like you got to be fucking kidding me. This is <laughs> this is their big woohoo. I'm supposed to go to McDonald's now because you've done this. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, y'all. I say y'all. Is that right, Vinny? Y'all. 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 It's Y apostrophe A-L-L. -L. That's, see, that's what I thought. Y apostrophe A-L-L. Y'all. Like I said yeah, up you here, spell, I you spell, you spell it wrong y there, Vinny. Y apostrophe A-L-L. 
Y'all. Y'all. That's how, that's how I say y'all. I mean, <laughs> I don't I don't live in the South. If I did live in the South, I'd start saying y'all all the time. I mean, you know. Yeah, I mean, McDonald's is evil. Let's just, let's just put that straight. I mean, like, the, the boys will say, like, a couple times, like, remember, I'm, no. I'm having, like, memories, because they're they, going to be graduating soon. They are they're not warm free. They're, they're almost 18. My kids are almost 18 years old. And it's, like, really, it's a transition, all right? So I'm kind of in a freaky, deaky, like, deal here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And they, they bring up Bill Gates, and I'll be like, I'll, whenever they say Bill Gates' name, I look right at them and I say, he's evil. Right. And they're like, they try to tell me he's not evil. I'm like, no, that motherfucker's evil. <laughs> they're like, I'm like, he tells you that he's doing good things while he's killing people. While he, he's telling he's you he's doing... He's one of doing... the people that's the most evil bastard on the planet. <laughs> you know? He is. And he comes out with this, uh, some, and I'm not going to even post this link, because I clicked on the link. It was a, from a Facebook post that some friend commented on or whatever. And it was about a Bill Gates saying that there's going to be some major epidemic or pandemic that's going to wipe out a quarter of the fucking planet or something. And it's like, dude, he's totally fear mongering. No, he's but hoping. He is he's hoping away with doing this crap in third world countries. He's giving them fucking vaccinations that have evil shit in it, toxic shit. These people line up because they've never had anyone quote unquote help them before, right? Right. So they come in there. We're helping you by giving you this vaccination. No, you're not fucking helping me. You're fucking killing me. And that, to me, is the most evil you can be. It is. It's just it's like the Nazis saying, you're going to take a shower when they're going to the fucking gas chamber. Right? right, right. It's fucking bullshit. This is evil shit. Evil. This is the name of fucking just evil. bad. Evil. It's fucking evil. It's fucking horrible. This guy is getting away with killing people. At a mass level. He's committing genocide. Yeah. Well, he's a new genocist, time. yeah. He is. He's committing genocide. And the way he does it, he tells people, oh, this is good for you. These are poor people in third world countries that, oh, someone's paying attention to us. Someone's trying to help us. He is taking advantage and preying upon people that are vulnerable. And he is the evil, most evil person, seriously, one of them, on the planet. Absolutely. He's in cahoots with all these motherfuckers. The right. Rothschilds and shit. The Clintons. The Bushes. The Queen. All right? Yep. He's right there with he all of them. fucking England, I'm talking about. Uh, well, Not we know Beyonce. that. <laughs> all right? Beyonce what? ain't a fucking queen. Who said the she queen was a queen? Whoever said, whoever said she was a queen? Oh, that's what they call her out there. Oh. That's like her, you know, the fucking pop culture. Well, whatever, hap whatever happened to Queen Latifah? Oh, she's still around. She oh. just got old. So she was a singer, she right? Was it, was, of, was she it, was, was, was kind it, of a singer, but not really. I thought she was a singer. She was, but she was also an actress. Hmm. All right. Okay, next story. She's still around. She's still alive. <laughs> okay. But no, what I'm saying, and then for years... I've been telling the kids about the Illuminati. And I'm like, when Lady Gaga first got, when that Poker Face song came out, they were like in middle school or maybe younger. I'm like, gosh, you know she's Illuminati, right? This is like, they were middle school. They had to have been middle school. And they're like, what's that? I'm like, the Illuminati. You know, so I started fucking telling them all this shit. You know, and now I have to, they're still, they still think I'm fucking nuts. Oh, she's... But I have not wavered. I have never fucking wavered. Ever. She, she, they, she, she is what? a little very naughty. Yes, she is. Oh, fuck. It's <laughs> unbelievable. You can but, see... Re regardless. If you start going down the rabbit hole, you, it, you, you get know, like your blinders automatically go off. Like, more and more truth is exposed. It's like, you can't stop. But but you know she was she was great in that American Horror Story Hotel series uh, season. Yeah, oh, play the vampire or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was great in that. Lady Gaga. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't watch that one, Graham. I'm not into that gore shit. I, I that's just not. Like oh, that was movie. that was a great season. I, I watched a couple episodes, but I'm like, ah, oh, no, I'm oh, done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I mean, I'm sure it was good, but 
Yeah. And she did pull up for an Emmy for that. Well, she did a great job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was, she was good at did it. Did she get the Emmy, maybe? I have no idea. I can't remember. I think she didn't, but I can't. Yeah. But it was a stupid uh, award. All right. Hollywood. Next next story. Next story to blow your mind. <laughs> really? No, you know, there's not another one. There can't your local post office <laughs> could become a bank if this bill passes. Uh huh. A bill set forth by uh, Kristen Gillibrand of New York aims to make loans more affordable by offering retail banking services at the U.S. Postal Service. Yeah, fuck me, fuck you, fuck you. I'm not even joking here. Yeah. Well, no, well, this well, is bullshit. I'm sick of this shit. I'm going to mute because I don't want to let you read the story. I'm muting. All right. It says, consumers who rely on payday loans would benefit from lower rates. Now, I don't know how familiar you all out there with payday loans. But I think they charge you like 30% a month or something like that. It, it's some outlandish uh, uh, amount that, that payday loan places charge. The proposal opens questions as to how the loans will be paid and serviced. So it's the, the insanity, the insanity of, uh, of this, this kind of having the post office that can't even deliver mail properly and are, have lost money ever since... Ever since they they turned down Lysander Spooner's idea for for a postal service, um, <laughs> I think that somehow it's a good idea for them to start acting as a bank, or at least this one woman, Kirsten Gillibrand, um, says her legislation aimed at putting an end to current payday lending practices by giving some banking services. To the post office, the legislation called the Postal Banking Act would make retail banking services available at U.S. Postal Service locations that amounts to 30,000 post offices nationwide. Services would include small dollar loans for consumers that offer low fees and low interest rates. A, a, a big important question here is, uh, are, are they going to have the mailman armed now to come after you to collect on your on your uh, your your defaulted loans because you know this is going to wind up with massive amounts of defaulted loans. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what kind of collateral are they going to do like uh, taking you, taking your your car title in order to <laughs> get to carry your loan or it doesn't even make any sense. I can't even imagine how, how they would do something like this. The whole thing just sounds like. Insanity, but it says here, 12 million individuals use payday loans annually. Who, who are these people? That, that, that's, that's just stupidity to be using these payday loan places. Um, it says the loans are extraordinarily expensive, the payday loan places, with annual percentage rates near 400%. 400%, like I said, about 30% a month uh, on these things. Uh, <laughs> So you go there and you, and you borrow a hundred bucks, you immediately owe a hundred and thirty bucks. So you think this is a, a good idea to to try and get yourself out of debt? No, it's a good idea to lose whatever you put up for collateral. If anything, uh, it, 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 it's insanity. I, I just I, I read I read this article and I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> I get these. I took out one of those loan sharks. See, uh, to me, they're loan sharks. They are loan sharks. All right? They are. I took out a loan from one of these loan sharks, and then I got on their mailing list, right? So every month I get their little fucking postcard-sized fucking thing. I'm like, take me off your list. And I even didn't even call them. I called them and told them to take me off the list. They did not. Yeah. And so I still get, and every time I get their, their little mailer, I'm like, fuck you, you bitch. I hate, you know what I mean? I'm just like, no way will I ever use your service again. You're fucking con artists. You're rip off scammers. Okay, well, and here, even here. someone that worked there, I would not be able to work there, knowing what I'm doing to people. Now, now, here's this part. Them up for the, it, how could you do that to people, knowing you're ripping them off? How, how are you so desperate for a job that you have to fucking see my thing? Okay, uh, here's, here's the thing. Here, here, wait, 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 w
fucking place. Well, wait, wait, here's, like, here's, the, the, goal. here's the thing, Moose. You're going to poor people off. You're taking advantage <laughs> yeah. of people. But, but, but listen, but listen, but listen, but listen. Stupid. <laughs> here's the deal. Here's the thing. Stupid. It's dumb. Here's the you're thing. You're catering to poor people. <laughs> oh, we'll give you $500, but in the end, you're going to pay $750 for $500. You know but here, but here's the thing. Here's the deal. Ugh. You go up, you go up there to the window, wherever I've, I don't know, I've never done one, but whatever. You go up there to the window, and they yeah, hand you a sheet. It, and I, what's that? The one I went to, they have desks and everything. Okay, great. Like you're so, a car, buying a car. All right, great. So you go to the desk and you sit down, and they hand you a piece of paper, and they tell you, this is the interest rate, they right? Do, but you're so desperate for money, Grim. I understand that. I I understand that. Right you but need the money. It's an emergency. Your fucking water heater went out, and you gotta fucking pay your fucking energy bill, and you have no fucking money. So you're fucking stuck. You're well, like, what you the know, fuck do I do? I need money today. They're gonna cut my energy bill. They're gonna cut my power off tomorrow. You know? They they then they oh come here and we'll give you money. It's like fuck you. It's it's a Can deal. You imagine people in a bad situation. It's a deal with you know? the devil. That's all. Fucking you're you're going there, and you're and you're signing your soul away for for some trinket. <laughs> right, and it's bullshit though, because they keep extending it. They keep offering you more. Like once you sign up, oh for yeah. Like, well, we can extend your payment if you sign up for another five hundred dollars. You right. Stretch it in the, you know, it's just like really, it is just they they make it so you really can't get out of it. Sure. Like I made sure I got out of it. I'm like I am paying these fuckers off. I'm not spending my fucking thing. I'm, you know, fuck you. <laughs> the interest rate is like twenty five percent. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, you know? it's like that's insane. I'm crazy. sorry, but these places need to go. But but it's not 25 percent annually; it's 25 percent monthly or whatever yes. wh whatever the period is they choose. I mean, it's just crazy. It's just fucking nuts. It's just like it's such a scam. It it, it hurts poor people. But here, like, let me let me let me so much <laughs> let me, let... people that are beneath them to put us through pain and agony. I know. Oh, oh, I yeah, know. You can't do this unless you give us a cut. You can't go into business for yourself unless you get this permit and pay these business taxes and do all that. You know what? It all needs to go away. I get well, that people are trying to fight it from the inside. You can't. This thing, you've got to cut the head off. Right. You can't fuck around with this shit in their system and expect to get results that you want. Exactly. Okay. Let me. Let me. Uh, I'm sorry, Hal disagrees with me, and I'm sorry, Hal, but I disagree with you. Okay, fine, good. You can't fight them from the belly of the fucking beast. No, you can't. You have to fucking cut their fucking head off, like it, they did to us back in the day. And and keep on and keep on cutting heads off because they keep on popping up. Yeah. Anyway, let me finish this story here. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. okay. In, in addition to I, small. <laughs> Some or something. No, no, we understand. We understand. Uh, we, we all do. I'm not doing anything. Bullshit, I'm doing something. You know what I'm doing? I'm thinking for myself. I'm not being a fucking sheeple. I am actually doing oh, something. God. I'm doing a radio show every Friday for eight fucking years. Yeah. So don't fucking tell me I'm not doing anything. Right. Okay, anyway, let me finish here. Um... In addition to small dollar loans, Gillibrand's postal bank legislation also includes other services, including small dollar checking and savings accounts, transactional services, including debit cards, cash machines, bill payments, and online services, as well as domestic and international wire transfers. Do you really want the post office having that kind of control over your life? Why not? The government, they already do. It's nothing new. They make it seem like it's something new. No, they already have fucking control it, over everything in your life. <laughs> so, this is a bo another bullshit fucking article. Another fucking false news shit. Well, no, it's it's an actual thing. I, you know. Yeah, no, it's a real article, but they've been doing this forever, Graham. They're just now telling you they're doing no, it. No, they haven't been giving out loans, the well, post office. Uh, Bullshit. The post office has never given out loans before. Oh, giving out loans. Okay. 
They've never had banking right. accounts. This is bullshit. <laughs> it, it's, it's a loan shark. The government, they're already a loan shark. The government yeah. is a fucking loan <laughs> yes, shark. Yes, they are. They can't fucking have you make your own money. They have to have a cut. No matter how much fucking money you make, that's why they don't like drug deals, because they don't get a cut. Right, absolutely. Fucking ridiculous. Absolutely. People are just pussyfooting around, blah, 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 blah. It's like, you know what? Do your fucking research and wake the fuck up and really learn something and figure it the fuck out. If I can, anybody can. Right. Put pussyfooting around with all this bullshit. Because you, you know it's bullshit. Deep down inside, you know. Yes, you yes. Know it's bullshit. Yes, you do. Deep down inside, every fucking buddy knows it. Everybody know you should know, there's no difference between a Republican and a Democrat. No, there's not. It's two factions of the same fucking oh, thing. put it? And you're stupid to put yourself against them. You're a Democrat, right? So you're going to go, oh, I disagree with you, Republican. <laughs> it's like, really? You're both fucking human beings. If you, both of you motherfucking stupid fucks can't see that it goes beyond this illusion of division that they've given you, this illusion of choice that they've given you, if you can't see beyond that, there is no fucking hope for you. You're sucked in by them. They sucked you in, and you're stuck in the trap. Right. Unless you get yourself out. The only right. way to get yourself out is to start thinking for yourself, start using your own eyesight, stop letting the fucking media, CNN and shit, mainstream media, stop letting them make your decisions for you. Absolutely. That's the way you get out of the trap. Because yes. if you believe in this two-party system still, you're way behind the times, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you would, Chloe. Fucking truth fucking hurts, doesn't it? Well, we're, we're getting ready to play some music anyway, because... Uh, I, the truth I, fucking hurts. It ain't pretty either. It ain't truth, pretty. That's pretty truth, it, it's not going to happen. You're living in a fantasy land if you think that's going to happen. Pretty truth. <laughs> anyway, we are good. The truth is fucking ugly. We we are it's we are ready for we are ready for another it's set here. Going on, it's still going on. You guys, whatever. You know what I mean? I, I, I get yeah. set up. And I get to this point where I'm like, you know what? This needs to be set. I'm, I'm just trying to share some stories. <laughs> I know it was, it's frustrating, and uh, I, I get it. You know it. it, it these these people are scammers and thieves and and and, and horrible humans and, and 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 how do they live with themselves I don't know, but but that's that's yeah I don't know most, um, but I know they're out there and there's tons and tons of them, and uh, I wish they I wish they weren't there as well, but the uh, the way it's uh, set up the way the government's set up is to let them. Uh, be be dirty criminals that way. Anyway, we are going to play another set right here, um, right now for me, of music for you. <laughs> I can find my camera. Yeah, there it is. I know I know it was here. There. Yeah, people are too wussy. Damn right they are. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a double a triple request. Uh, it was uh, first requested by Hans Gruba. And then uh, a couple other people requested it tonight. So here it is for you. Rage Against the Machine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> we had a couple nice mashups there. Uh, that one was Iron Zeppelin doing a whole lot of Trooper. And before that, we had Judas Maiden with Icarus Got Another Flight Coming. <laughs> I love those mashups. Good stuff. Anyway, we kicked it off with Rage Against the Machine and Killing in the Name. <sighs> I'm glad, Vinny. Anytime I can tell somebody to fuck off and it makes them feel better, that's a good thing. <laughs> Oh, man. Yes, 
Ben Diddy. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, I love those mashups. Those are, those are cool stuff. Um, what, what was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, somebody added a quote. Is that what happened? Oh yeah, that's what happened. All right. <laughs> So, anyhow, how, how the hell is it going? Hansel, welcome. Uh, Echelon, did I mention you? I think I mentioned you at the top of the show, but welcome anyway. Um, what? Okay, Moose. You want me to keep talking while I'm, while, while I'm adding music? I, I see how you are. Just leave me hanging out here in, in the middle of, of whatever. Uh, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh man, it's been a strange week and it's been a strange year already. We're we're this far into the year. It's almost five months are over, and and it feels like it just it just was like New Year's yesterday. It was actually it was just two thousand the year two thousand yesterday. I I never really got past the year two thousand. I'm still back there, nineteen ninety nine. Actually, I, I don't know what happened. Suddenly, all these years went by, and and I'm old. <laughs> you know, it's a weird thing. Uh, how the world works. How time works. Time it doesn't really exist. It's just a construct, you know. Of course. Um, what am I rambling on about? I don't know. You don't have to be grateful, but if you are, that that that's that's all good too. All right, I'm going to tell you all about a thing here that I came. Stand back. Okay. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Well, before good, I'm going to tell you all about a thing here that I came across, and this is not um, totally selfless, but I'm going to tell you about okay. it because I think it's important. Because some of y'all out there, I know some of y'all out there are using browsers that have VPN installed on the browser. A browser yeah. VPN. Well, I apparently... That was a good thing. Uh, what's that? I thought that was a good thing. It, and, and it should be, but okay. not necessarily. Uh, according to oh. hack, HackRead.com, popular Chrome VPN extensions are leaking your DNS data. Of course they are. So last month, HackRead reported how tons of popular VPN software were leaking real IP addresses of users through the WebRTC leak, along with a list of VPN vendors uh, saving your users' internet logs despite claiming otherwise. Now, a new study has been conducted, according to which some of the popular Chrome VPN extensions are leaking DNS-related data of their users. Here, it must be noted that the DNS is not related to the WebRTC issue, but, RT but DNS is prefetching in Chrome uh, browser activated by default. The study was conducted by John Mason of the Best VPN uh, alongside with an ethical hacker from Cure53, ethical hacker, <laughs> I love that, uh, who goes by the Twitter handle File Descriptor. It may shock many that 7 out of 17 VPN extensions on Chrome are leaking DNS data. The ones you got to watch out for here, Hola VPN, Touch VPN, Better Not VPN, Net VPN, Dot VPN, Hawks VPN, one that I have actually tried, Ivacy VPN, and the most insidious of them, Opera VPN. A lot of people use Opera specifically because of the fact I don't use Opera. I that, hate it, Opera. that it has the VPN built into it and you feel safe using their VPN software. It goes on to describe some other stuff there. I'll leave that to you to read. But the, v, the Chrome VPN extensions that are not leaking DNS are NordVPN, PureVPN, Windscribe, CyberGhost, TunnelBear, ZenMate VPN, Hotspot Shield, VPN Unlimited, Avira VPN, Phantom VPN, and most importantly of all, Private Internet Access. As I said, this was not totally unself-serving. 
And I mention that because on the front page of reallibertymedia.com, you'll see a link, assuming you have us whitelisted. Thank you very much for whitelisting reallibertymedia.com. You'll see a link there to private Internet access VPN service, which you can purchase through there. And if you do, I get a little cut. <laughs> And they go on to explain, explaining what DNS prefetching is. Uh, they explain what the problem is uh, with, with with these VPNs and, and leaking your DNS information and how to test if your VPN extensions are leaking DNS. Uh, you can be sure if it's listed here, it is. And you don't want to use that. You don't want to trust that. There's no point in using a VPN if it is leaking your DNS data. Uh, that, that's just... Just, just pointless, and it, it just wastes extra resources. So don't right. do that. Go and get right now, all of you, every one of you, private internet access via the link on the front of reallibertymedia.com. Now, uh, Kate bought that uh, earlier this week, and 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 she is apparently very. Well, as far as I could tell from the very first day, I haven't talked to her about it since then. But she seemed pleased uh, when she first installed it, and, and it was good. Um, I'll, I'll give you the link right here, but the link will also be in the uh, Freakers Ball blog post tomorrow when I do that. Um, anyway, go check out yes, Curry website today. It, uh, it, it's a it's a great little uh, thing to have there for you, and uh, hopefully you'll take advantage. Of private internet access VPN. I've been using it for what since last August, I think, um, and it's great. It's terrific. It's really fast. Uh, there's no slowdown. They do not keep records of the sites that you visit. Uh, there's, there's nobody could come back and say, "Hey, show me all the records of this VPN customer you have." They don't have them. They can't tell the government what sites you've gone and visited. Your your ISP will never know what sites you went and visited because you're on a VPN, and a VPN secures you from end to end on that. It's a, it's a, it's a great tool to use, um, and uh, so there's that for you. <laughs> All right, I want to show you a video um, here that I came across earlier this week, which will probably not surprise many of you, but I found it very interesting. It, it, it's it's um, um, Abby, Abby Martin, Abby Martin. Um, you know Abby Martin, Moose? Okay, she muted. All right. No, I do not. No, I don't. Okay. Well, she used to do shows on uh, RT and, and whatever. Um, anyway, she did this particular uh, video, and the the title of the video is called, and I, and I also got to share this other piece of information with you before I, before I share the video with you, but the, the title of the video is How Hemp Threatens the Corporatocracy. It's part of her brainwash update series. What? But, I don't even want to hear this. No, absolutely, <laughs> my, you do. Absolutely, my, my you you, you do you do want to hear this. Um, okay. But below the video here on the YouTube, there is a little it, note, a little informational note, just so you know. RT is funded in whole or in part by the Russian government. They want you to know that because they want you to be afraid. They don't want you to listen to this. They want you to avert your eyes from anything that might be, oh, it's Russian somehow, so that's bad. But it's honest, it's truth, and it's real information. So um, anyway, <laughs> that all being said, uh, here is the video called How Hemp Threatens the Corporatocracy. It was succeeding against a model of profit, greed, and control that sadly defines this country today. Damn right, Abby. You, you nailed it right on the head there, uh, all across the board on that particular video. Now, if you don't understand what, what she's talking about there, uh, maybe watch the video again. I'll, I'll, put, the, I'll, I'll put the video yeah. into the blog and, and a link to it. Uh, and um, just understand... They want, <laughs> first off, there was no problem with marijuana, or weed, or cannabis, no. or however you want to phrase it. Uh, but but, but that, that's really beside the point, too, as far as the, the topic here. Hemp is a wonderful product. 
and and, it, and there's so many things for just for nutrition alone, just being able to to use the the hemp seeds for all kinds of various uh, foods that you can that you can make out of it. Um, with, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, for anyone that doesn't know this, and you can look it up to back me up if you don't fucking believe me. I do shit. Um, the pot seed is one of the most nutritious seeds you can eat. Oh, sure. Like, you know how you eat sunflower seeds? Right. Eat pot seeds. They are very nutritious and very, very good for you. Yeah, pot seeds are great. A lot of people don't know that. Or don't, they, a lot of people, I remember back in the day when I first started not being an informed pot smoker. Back in the day, I was young. Stupid, <laughs> or dumber. I, stu- I was never stupid. I was just, you know, young. Ignorant. Um, right. You know, learning. Right. Uh, someone told me that pot seeds are the the most uh, nutritious thing you can eat. I didn't believe them at first. Well, hemp sure I looked it up. Is. I'm like, oh. And then I fucking yeah. tested it out. I started eating pot seeds. I've had hemp milk before, anti I hen See, the thing that sucks about the weed nowadays, it's so, like, uh, refined. Yeah. That you don't get pot with seeds in it anymore. Well, or it, getting a bag sometimes, Graham, and it'd be like, oh, some pot some seed. You know what I mean? Right. Like, they wouldn't take out the seeds before they weighed it. They just give you that fucking seed, you know? Sure. Which is actually a blessing in disguise, because them pot seeds are really good for you. Most of the time, when I was young, we just throw out them pot seeds. We just put them in the ashtray, throw them in the garbage. <laughs> like, how stupid was that? Uh, I, I used to have a huge old bag of seeds. I don't know what ever happened to those. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I wish I had those still. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hemp's great stuff, and and she she told you all about it there. Uh, yes, and, but you know what? The th- okay, no offense to that videogram. I get that, but you know what? We've been doing this show what eight nine I, years. I, like, there's no new in, there's no new information. I've been seeing this forever. But I but been but seeing this other show forever. But here's the thing. <laughs> she reaches a wide audience. I agree. We don't. We thing. we certainly don't. Right. So it is um, a pro positive thing for the quote unquote pot movement. What I call it is getting out of prohibition. Okay. Yeah. Grammy even talks about it in her show tonight. Weed is medicine. I've even told my sons this. I'm I'm like, weed is a plant. It's not a drug. They call it a drug because that's schools tell them, right? Sure. You know, the, oh, it's a job. That's what my seventh grade, when I took that fucking health class, and they had the fucking narc cop come in and tell us all about drugs and shit. And she lied to me, totally, about weed. They lied to me about weed, seventh fucking grade. They didn't tell me it was a plant. They told me it was a fucking narcotic. And that is not, weed is not a narcotic. They put it, they put weed in the same category as heroin and cocaine. Sorry, oh, yeah. that's uh, a misrepresentation of fucking marijuana. Uh, no, no question, no question about it. You know, and the other thing is, like, I told, I shut my son up the other day. Because he tried to get on my ass about fucking weed. And I said, you know what? Why would fucking five states make it legal if it was killing people? If weed was killing people throughout time, everyone would know it was just as bad as cocaine or heroin or meth. Oh, right? sure, sure. You know? It's like, you know what, dude? You're fucking wrong. You've been told misinformation by the fucking school and by your fucking teachers. He looks at me like, what? Oh, the teachers are wrong? Yeah, your fucking teachers are fucking wrong. <laughs> they're fucking lying to you. I even mean, said that. They're lying to well, you. Well, they've been fed they a line of bullshit. They're lying you to know. your face. If you don't believe me about pot, but you believe them, oh my fucking God, dude. Well, the, the teachers have been in a lot, fed a line of bullshit right. that, that they right. have but to, even to, the to teach. the teachers know, dude. You know what? Some of the teachers they have are like 25, 30 years old. Yeah. All right? You know, you mean it's most of, when I went, when, back in like 20 years ago, 
And each time I met a teacher, you know what they did? They smoked fucking weed. Because teaching in this country, you get paid shit. You have to put up with all these fucking people's brats every fucking day. Some of them are good kids. Some of them are fucking hell on earth. They purposely try to disrupt the classroom. So you sure. have to deal with this asshole or three of them. Right? You got a right. class of 20, 20 kids and three of them are fucking assholes. Right? Yeah. So that fucks all those other 17 kids right there. Because the teacher's going to be so busy dealing with the asshole. Right? Right. Three kids. One person taking care of three kids? That's hard to do. I've been a mother. I had twins. I had to take care of two babies at the same fucking time. One person taking care of two babies. Right? Yeah. Do a fucking 30-year-old teacher in a classroom with 20 people. Most of his time is devoted to those three fucking troubled kids. Because they're assholes. Right. But luckily, two of them will get sent to the special ed classes. Right? Sure. Well, he's one fucking asshole he's got to deal with. So maybe he'll be successful. This probably happens at around 11th grade. Right? They let those fucking assholes be in mainstream schooling and disrupting all the other kids' studies and everything until they get to junior year and they're like, okay, you're done. Right. Uh, we gave up on you. You know? That's sure, what they say, sure. basically. And they don't say they gave up on them. They say, um, you need an alternative option here. You know? Right. It's fucked up. The fucking <laughs> education system is fucked up. It's part of government. And the whole vaccine thing, like, I, I had to do a fucking thing for housing for Zach for college, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't know what to answer for this question, Mom. The question was, have you been vaccinated? I'm like, yep. You got vaccinated when you were a baby. You're done. Check mark, right? Right. And then, did you? They, they have a special question. Have you been in, injected or uh, vaccinated for meningococcal? See, they've got every all these. This is how the fear mongering works, okay? A couple college kids get fucking meningitis and die from it, okay? Meningitis is a rare thing to die from. But if it happens to a college kid, they're going to play it up, right? Sure. They're going to be like, oh, no, college, because he's a student, right? Even though it's a college, an adult, he's still a student because he's in college. So a few students died from meningitis. So now the FBA and the government, they're like, okay, some college kids died of meningitis. We gotta come up with a vaccine for meningitis. You know? We gotta mm -hmm. make money off this bitch. People died for the meningitis. How can we fucking line our pockets? Right? Right. And they, they, they call the fucking FDA up. They call fucking Merck. I'm like, Merck, we want you to fucking make a fucking uh, vaccine for meningitis. Why? Oh, because all, uh, four college kids died from meningitis? So that means it's it's prevalent in college campuses. So <laughs> any kid that's going to college, they gotta get it. But put some nasty toxic shit in there too. Put some anti sterilize put some sterilization stuff in there. Put some mercury in there. Put some Samar you know, oh Samarasol is mercury. Mercury. Put some fucking other bullshit in there. Just fuck them up. Fuck up their endocrine system. Why do you want me to do that? Because we have to control them. Right. <laughs> we're outnumbered, dude. If they rise up against us, we're fucked. Yeah, yeah, I hear that, dude. Do I get a raise? Yeah, yeah, you do. Sure, yeah. Yep, you get a fucking raise, buddy. You can buy that boat you wanted all the time. <laughs> yep, there you go. You're set, buddy. You're set. Yeah. Just put this fucking shit to fuck a lot of people up. But don't feel bad about it, because you're getting a fucking boat. There you go. Yep, and you're awesome. <laughs> Even though the water that the boat's going to be on is going to be contaminated. Oh, what? What? Wait a minute, what? Oh, yeah, buddy. Sorry. 
All right. We still need it up the river. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to share. I want to share an article. Uh, what, what would you call it? Metaphysical. Uh, kind of. Uh, well, yeah, metaphysical. Let's, let's go with that word. Here. <laughs> New agey kind of stuff. Uh, metaphysical. Metaphysical, yeah. New, new, new age kind I of stuff. Like metaphysical. Yeah. Anyway, the the the, art, <laughs> the articles on our website omtimes dot com by some guy named Dimitri. The, the title. Oh. oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, oh, the, the, oh, the, yeah. The title of the article. <laughs> the, the title of the article is "Wish Manifestation Technique: Glass of Water." Okay. Starts with a quote. A living body is not a fixed thing, but a flowing event, like a flame or a whirlpool. The shape alone is stable, for the substance is a stream of energy going in at one end and out the other. Alan Watts it says, You have probably wished for something at least once in your lifetime. Some wishes did come true, while others appear to struggle. Even if wish manifestation happens to be a challenge for you at the moment, you have to agree that our universe is abundant. In order f to manifest your wishes and tap into the abundance of the universe, you need just wish manifestation energy. When you know how to concentrate and give direction to your energy flow, you begin to attract what you want in your life. This article will give you the basic explanation of how you can use the powerful technique called glass of water. With it, you can better focus your wish manifestation energy and bring your wishes into reality. Make sure to also read his article, Nine Ways to Wish Manifestation. Uh, there's a link to that here. Anyway, a similar technique in the Silva method, trans-surfing, healing practices, ancient rituals, and other sources, is mainly based on the fact that water is a great energy informational conductor, and that the human body primarily consists of water. The main goal of glass of water is to add power to your affirmations. It will help you program your body with the intent of your wish. To conduct this technique, you will need an open mind, a sheet of paper, and a glass of water. Write down the wish in the form of an affirmation on the sheet of paper, or a post-it note, whatever. Uh, your affirmation should describe you in the present moment experiencing the manifestation of your wish. You can come up with your own affirmation, or find one online <laughs> if you have none of your own <laughs> anyway there are many sources on the internet that will help you write an affirmation text for different types of wishes just just pull it out of your own head you don't, you don't need anybody else's wishes in your head your, your text could uh, be about finding that new job or truly enjoy and finding your soulmate who loves you and who loves who you who you love back it could relate to attracting financial resources for a creative project involving you, finding a cure for a certain health problem, or even helping you lose some weight. However, please keep in mind that any type of manifestation technique is not some kind of magic spell. It will not immediately manifest all of your desires. Neither uh, will it find the love of your life, uh, nor materialize a million dollars in gold. Techniques Techniques help you help your mind direct your energy and create a template or a thought form of your wish on the energy field so it can further guide you towards its manifestation. Some manifestation techniques are just more advanced than others. Glass of water is just one very powerful add-on to your affirmation and tested in practice with positive results. After you write down your affirmations, attach the sheet to the glass of water or put the glass on top of it. The next step is activating the energy channel in your hands. You can do it by simply rubbing your hands against each other until you feel them almost burning. Now place your palms on each side of the glass and feel the energy flow between your hands. State your wish out loud or in your mind and visualize the state of being described in your affirmation to the point where you can almost feel it within your body. While going through the visualization process, 
Concentrate your attention on sending the energy through your hands into the water in the glass. If the records, it, or, excuse me, it records uh, the, the state of being when your wish is realized. It will charge the water with the intention of your wish. You can do this for a few minutes or until you feel like it's enough. Now, drink that glass of water. You can conduct this technique uh, every evening and every morning before going to bed. Every morning before going to bed? Okay. Uh, it's quite easy to, to uh, make the, this technique part of your daily routine. If you have more than one wish, you should use a separate glass for each wish. When your whole body charges the, the wish intention, it begins to guide you towards the manifestations of your wish. I hope you can make your wishes come true with this advanced manifestation method. And don't forget to share it with a friend. <laughs> so, there's that. I, I, I thought, uh, you know, we, we got a lot of people here wishing for things, various things. And, you know, what's it going to hurt you to try it? Nothing. What do you got to lose? Nothing. All right. Well, we're out of time. We're well, not out of time, but we got to play our last set. So uh, try that. See, see if it works for you. you yeah, know, try it, man. Yeah, what the hell? Um, and uh, if, if you actually have an idea of something that you really want, think positively about it. Do Try their technique. Maybe it'll work. It's good. You know, you never know. Never know. You never know. So here we go. Don't so wish people. That's right. <laughs> dare to be a nonconformist. Dare I dare you to try, be a non-fucking conformist. Try the glass of water technique. All right, here we go with our last set. <laughs> Black Betty, Bama Lamb. Yes, indeed. That is Ram Jam there with their version of Black Betty. Before that, we had Deep Purple, Highway Star. Uh, you know that album, Machine Head album that, that that song came off of? That's just the most, that's, that's the awesomest album. Anyway, uh, before that, we had Blue Oyster Cult doing Godzilla. I forget who requested that one. But somebody did. And we kicked it off there with uh, John Lee Hooker doing a Boom Boom from the movie The Blues Brothers. And I think that's all we got for you all there tonight. I, I can't think of nothing else. <laughs> well, tomorrow you got the uh, Dark Table at Noon with Grammy Mary and Flash Troy. 11 Central, 8 a.m. California time. What? It's new. It's, it's noon Eastern, ten, eleven Central. Yeah, ten all your time, and like eight o'clock or nine o'clock California time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you want to list all the times, that's great. Um, I'll okay. be on Sunday at noon Eastern <laughs> as well uh, with the Blues, and we'll be playing some trivia here in the chat room. Following me will be Hal Anthony behind the woodshed, opening up a big old can of whoop ass. 7 p.m. Eastern will be Gary L. and uh, Miss Gigi's Boo going down the road less traveled. So, yeah, yeah, you know, the road less traveled is a good road to take. It is. Anytime. Anytime. You avoid those humans. Right. You know, <laughs> you can get away from it all and just be one. You know what I mean? That's right. And just be like, yep, that's the way to go. Home. Sometimes. Not all the time, but... Oh. Anyway, anyway um, <laughs> um, have a good weekend, everyone. Yep, talk Take to you later. Weekend. Peace.